Hey guys, how you doing? How you been? Uh, it's Erin of Scandalous Beauty and today I'm going to show you some of the things that I purchased with some gift cards that I got for my birthday. I turned 30 on May 11th and um, it's been a really interesting spring slash summer. So I decided to go ham and get some stuff uh, from Sephora and Ulta with my gift cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys everything. Just want to let you guys know that I actually have switched my social media handles. So I'm basically Aaron Bainum on everything. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, once I figure out how to use it. So all the social media links are below. I would love if you would join me there. I'm on there all the time. Okay, so let's go through what I got from Sephora. Uh, first thing that I got that I love, 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 love is this lipstick that I'm wearing. It is Charlotte by NARS. It is an audacious lipstick. And this is the color. It is so beautiful. I love these lipsticks because they are highly pigmented. All you need is like a swipe or two and you're good. Let me show you that. Like that. Like those colors. I love the audacious line. However, audacious ain't cheap and I don't know how many of these I would own without a gift card because it's like they're like over $30 for a lipstick so I won't have a bunch of them I'm just gonna have like a hardcore amount and this is one of them so I see me definitely using this interchangeably with Scarlet Empress which I live for it's just the lipstick that it's my other like holy grail bold lip that I wear all the time so along with the lipstick, I bought this lip gloss called Keto. This is also by NARS. I was in Sephora for like two and a half hours because there was an issue with my gift card. So I swatched everything in sight and I picked out the colors that I like. So this is Keto, which is another pretty one. Actually, I will apply it now. So I bought them to go together. That adds a nice shine. That's a pretty color. Yes, I love it. Gorge. Oh my gosh, it's like glassy shiny. Wow. I am a fan. I only needed one swipe of that. That's good stuff. All right, so that was my little uh, shopping haul while I was at the store. Uh, I also got a couple of things on the internet. So those include the Makeup Forever Brow Seal, which is actually like a clear uh, brow setting gel, which is great because some days I don't want to do brows. I mean, this is as this is what my brows look like. I don't do all that concealer and stuff. I don't make them a totally different shape. I don't try to make them look any different than what they naturally look like except I might fill them in a bit with some brow powder which I have been using the NYX uh, brow powder kit for the, a little while I don't know on and off for a while so this is great because some days if I don't want to do all that I can just put this on and it just helps set your eye your eyebrows your brows do not move it actually smells like some kind of I don't want to say it smells like glue but you can tell it's one of those products that once you have it on it's not moving so I haven't played with this as much as I'd like to yet um, I've just used it two or three times but in those two or three times that I've used it it's been great my brows have not moved so I'm a big fan of this one of the best part about Sephora is all the samples so make sure you look at the app Sephora's app has mobile offers so they have a totally different list like you can get it they have a they have one list of freebies that you can get just because you're using it mobily and then you can also get the three other freebies plus you know your birthday thing like set or whatever so the mobile offer I got was the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer I asked for the hydrating one but I guess they were out so they gave me the mattifying primer and um, I haven't used it yet. The other freebies that I got were the Dior Show Mascara, which I'm trying again. I used this like years ago, back when I worked for Smashbox and what, I don't know, 2000, 
not I don't know I don't even remember when I worked for them anyway I used to use Dior show a lot um right now I'm a mask uh L'Oreal telescopic fan so I can't really see myself falling back in love with Dior show and paying a million dollars for it this is a Kat Von D locket featherweight primer so I'll be using this little envelope and seeing what this is all about it says it's hydrating water-based weightless fragrance free oil free so we'll try that out see what that's all about and this is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream Sample. Little teeny packet. So I'll be trying that out too. I love my Fresh uh, Soy Cleanser. I've been using that for about a month and a half. I bought another one. It came in the Great Cleanse Set by Sephora. And that was my favorite cleanser out of the group. So I've been using that a lot. Uh, a few more items. This right here. This is the Becca um, Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream. I got it in Treacle or Treasel. I'm pretty sure it's Treacle. I don't know. So this is the color. And it is insanely creamy. Um, so that's just a little smidgen of it. And it's, oops. Uh, it's really, really creamy. But it's like not creamy where it'll slide off. It's creamy where it's it's creamy where it's it's long lasting and it stays on for a really long time um, I'm wearing it under my eyes today and I've worn it two or three times so far um, so far so good I've worn it under I mean under foundation I've worn it under my eyes um, it has stayed put it has been very long lasting I've used it with a brush I've used it with a sponge um, I am a, a big fan of this a big fan I was gonna buy the NARS the new NARS radiant concealer it's not new but I was thinking about buying that and you know I thought too hard about it I was like you know what I have this Becca which I'm really a fan of right now um, so I'm sticking to that I like it better than my makeup forever concealer not better than the full cover full cover is still pretty darn good so I'm not gonna say that but I, I do really really love this so far so after the past few days I've been a fan it stays it sets well it's good stuff um, <clears throat> I'm trying to get my nails together I'm trying to like grow them out I'm a biter so I bought a um, little filer yeah a nail file it's like two bucks so I bought this it's for flimsy nails weak nails I have tend to have weak nails so that'll be good and I bought this Essie nail lacquer in Coco Karma which looks like a pretty good nude so I'd like to keep my nails kind of nude for a while so I'm gonna go that route um all right so two more items today I bought well three. Oh, you know I got my NARS um this is the Sephora Beauty Insider birthday set so the two colors that I received are this is Rikugian Satin Lip Pencil. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I probably won't be rocking that one. Um, but this one is Cruella, which is a velvet matte lip pencil. And this one, packed with color, beautiful, bold, loud, all that, which makes it awesome. For lipsticks, man, I always want to have to tone something down versus trying to build it up. So this is going to be a win. This is awesome. This is a freebie just for being part of the club. So, geez, be part of the club, man. That's a that's a good freebie. Okay, so two more items. Uh, I got these today. Uh, shout out to Donna and Hollis, who I met this weekend, by the way, who inspired me to actually get these videos up and running. So thank you, ladies, very much. Uh, the first thing I got was this Mali Perfect Prep Primer Glow, right? So first of all, this looks like this could fit about 3.4 ounces of product, but this is only one ounce. But this product, it has no information on it, so I can't read it for you, but it's supposed to be like a great skincare. It's supposed to prime and give you a glow. Uh, I looked at the reviews while I was in the store and people seem to really like it I looked at the reviews online and people seem to really like it so 
this is the product um very creamy very soft it's like a little bit more soft than like a silicone base i mean it kind of has that feel a bit but it's not necessarily like sephora's primer or anything and let's see i'll just apply it here super soft it, it feels radiant i mean you can tell your foundation is going to glide on it i'm trying to see i don't know if i saw a glow necessarily it doesn't have any of that like microfine shimmer or anything like that but it does feel really really good so um that's not bad so i look forward to trying that i have not tried it yet um, as you can see and um that feels great wow wow i heard that it um some of the reviews said it did help with lines and wrinkles can you see that there's a little bit of a shine there i could see for oily people this might be a little greasy maybe i don't know excited to try that out uh so that is that my the my mally i almost said molly mm. uh this is the mally perfect prep primer glow and the last product i tried which i've been holding out for for a long long time because lord knows i didn't want to spend all the money on this this is the lancome tint ideal uh ultra 24 hour makeup i got it in number 500 which is suede and this is supposed to be super long lasting super natural uh beautiful beautiful makeup so the color oh i told you i got a uh, suede and i'm really excited to try this um i should have done a first impressions video i'm wearing mac today darn uh but i will i'll do a first impressions video or a foundation wrap up sooner rather than later um because I, I really would like to show you guys these products. I'd love to show you what these are like. Um, but yeah, that's what I did for my birthday. That's what I got. Um, my husband took me to an Orioles game. You guys know I love the Orioles. I'm a huge fan. So we were right behind home plate. It was an awesome, awesome time. I had a great time there. And um, I bought some new makeup. Thank you guys for watching. And... <laughs> um i do hope to be a little bit more consistent i'm excited to i have a bunch of videos written down the next video i would like to do is either going to be a monthly favorites video and i'm also compiling um some of the different ways that i know people and including myself um are making money on youtube so i would like to do that video pretty soon too so thanks for watching happy memorial day weekend and I'll see you for the next video. Again, all my social media links are below and I hope to see you guys around. All right, bye.